Hello there, welcome back to another video. This is Roshan Sarek Matthew and in this video, I am going to show you some Excel tips that will help you to navigate and select large amount of data in Excel. Before moving forward, if you are new to this channel and end up liking this video, please do leave a like and smash that subscribe button and turn on bell notification to stay updated each time I upload a new content. Stay tuned. Now if the size of the data set that you are dealing with is small, you could probably use a mouse to click and drag the required data. But on many occasions when you are working on large amounts of data, this is not possible and not very efficient. So first let's look at navigating the data using some excel shortcuts. To navigate to the bottom of a column in excel, you can use the control and down arrow on the keyboard. Or if you want the mouse click, click on the starting cell, hold down the control button and bring the mouse to the bottom of the selected cell. You can see a plus sign appearing on the cell. Double click on the bottom of the cell while still holding on the control key. You can find yourself at the bottom of the column. Similarly, if you want to go back up, you can press control and up arrow to go back to the top of the required column. Now again with the mouse, if you want to go back up to the top of the column, press and hold the control key and bring the mouse pointer near the top of the last cell. You can see a plus sign appearing as before. Now keeping the control key press, double click on the top of the last cell. This will take you back to the top of the column. Now to select the data in this column, all we need to do is repeat the same exercise now with the shift key pressed. Let me show you. So basically when you press Ctrl, Shift and down arrow key, it selects everything in the column from top to bottom. To do the same thing with the mouse, you can press and hold the Ctrl and Shift key and bring the mouse pointer towards the bottom of the first cell and double click the cell. This will select all the data in the column. Similarly, to select all the data in the column from the bottom of the column, you can press Ctrl, Shift and up arrow. To do the same with the mouse, press and hold the Ctrl and Shift key and double click on top of the last cell. Now this will select all the data in our column. Now as you can see our header is also selected. To exclude the header from our selection, press the Shift key and down arrow key once. So now as you can see this will select all the data in the column except the header. Now so far we have learned how to navigate in excel column wise. Let's now look at how to navigate in excel row wise. The only difference here is that instead of using the up and down arrow key, we can use the left and right arrow key to navigate and select the data in excel. So say we are on the first entry in our title row. To go to the last entry in the title row, we can press the control key and the right arrow key on the keyboard or just like we did before, press and hold the control key and move the mouse pointer towards the right side of the selected cell. You can see a plus sign appear as before. Now double click on the right side of the cell to go to the last entry in the title row. To go back to the first entry, we can press control and left arrow key or press control and bring the mouse towards the left of the selected cell. This will show the plus sign as before. Then pressing down the control button, double click on the left side of the cell. This will take you back to the first cell in the current row. Similarly, pressing and holding control shift along with the arrow keys will select everything in the current row. The only thing to keep in mind is that if there is a break or gap in the data, the navigation or selection method will stop where there is a blank data. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to follow me on my social media handles for more interesting content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.